so welcome to this uh, second video uh, I will show you how to set up your dev environment uh, uh, of course I already have it on my local but I'll try to um, explain you uh, in a way that you can do it on your own so of course for um, the IDE does lots of options my choice is uh, PyCharm but you can also use Visual, Visual Studio Code and Vim, for example, and of course there are millions of others, but I, I tend to think that PyCharm is the best option currently. Um, now, um, another thing you should uh, understand is um, in order to set up Kudu, you need to have Postgres. And for you to be able to connect to Postgres, your own user so if you do echo user, currently my user is Udo Gap. So I would need to do sudo su. This is the easiest way. And now I'm logged in into the, the Postgres admin user and I should create user. And if you want to know all the options, just write help. But I'll say create user at least uh, for development, just use this super user. That's no problem. Of course, of course, if you want to set up a production instance, this is the minimal requirement. Uh, but I want. Uh, I wouldn't use super user. It's a security issue, right? So create user, a super user, and then Udo gap, and you're set to go. When you do this now from your own user. Uh, we can do the following. You can do PSQL. Of course, if I say this, you get an error saying a database does not exist because by default it's going to try to connect to a database with the same name as the user. But if I do PSQL P13, uh, do oh well, maybe okay, there it is. I'm in the database. If I do slash dt, I'll see all my tables, and this is an Udo instance now. You can do other things like PSQL minus LS. It's going to show all databases that you have. And of course, if I do this, you see some of them have DD. It mm -hmm. means it's another user that I use for my own uh, system. And uh, now this is UduGap. Uh, this is the one we are using. Okay. Um, so this is the first thing. Another thing you should know is that if you're running Udo, First thing you have to have a virtual environment. We did that on last video. So if I do dot and activate pin activate. If I do pip v install minus r git kudu, mm -hmm. then uh, thirteen requirements. If I do this and everything is fine, so everything is fine. If you get errors, the problem is that you don't, you're, you're trying to install some library. That library has a dependency that needs to be compiled as it is installed because it's a C library. So what you will need to do for sure is find a matching library and then use apt to set it up. like sudo apt install and then the library name i created a snippet here that you can use i'll paste it in the video uh, this uh, does an upgrade an update and then install some packages uh, postgresql client not the server because this is a minimum requirement you might have a server that is connected uh, to a different database server you don't need to have the postgres server installed on your system now all these other modules and uh, wk html to pdf uh, 12.5 and for bionic amd64 uh, it means it's for ubuntu 18.04 bionic right and of course if you're using a different distribution this will not be so good for you. So you have to find a different uh, setting for your own uh, system. But well, that's uh, the basics, right? 
and now of course go into PyCharm uh, let's open it and K okay. so this is not how it shows when you start it's be like close yeah it shows like this and now you open and I created a folder usually I do it I do it for all my projects and not this one uh, close project yeah it's this it's probably this one yeah no okay it's this one that I have my add-ons folder dump scripts and source okay I'll open it I showed this in the last video so uh, we will be doing some project ledger module I uh, wrote some scope here it says what it's for um, uh, so uh, this is what we are going to develop in our fast videos but let's keep this one short um, so then on the source folder I'm just creating a shortcut this is like a Windows shortcut and this Windows shortcut is our CD and SRC okay let's SL H A. so this is pointing to a place where I clone Udo core and I cloned also the enterprise modules and uh, if, of course if you are working with a specific version specific server you want to make sure you want to, you have the correct commit but just for getting started this is quite fine so there we have the server the enterprise modules and yeah the second thing to do is to go into interpreter uh, settings interpreter and yeah we already have our interpreter but if you don't find your one here you can press add button and then choose an existing environment and that will be the default for this project and after you do that uh, second thing is just open here the core module right click on Rubin and say run Rubin when you do this it's going to create something like this for you you just need to edit this and here you need to pass add-ons path always first place the enterprise modules second place the core Udo core modules third place your own add-ons okay in name of the database and uh, this says it's going to install project ledger I already done it I'll just use the minus u and this is for development apply okay and play so after we do this it will run this database and it's going to update the module that we are working with now of course you have your working environment anything you want to search for for example let's say where is project dot defined you do shift control F and you do this it's going to find in your source folders also so into search here in the core and on your own modules and that's very handy so if I want to search I always use the regex search and I do like name for example inherit and then I would say dot something project slash uh, project so all the places where project was inherited and extended and it gives me the list and then I can search and see what was done for this object okay I find PyCharm very useful because it has a very powerful search and I think that's a very important thing in Udo uh, because you can search code you can find uh, and learn with the code that you have on the code base but that's all for this video thank you for listening and see you next time